Um, I actually have very, very fond memories of my mother, and when I look back and think about her, the thing that I remember the most is how she was always very calm and very graceful in whatever situation she was dealt with. And she was dealt with a lot of difficult situations, a lot of stressful events. And I always remember her being very calm, very peaceful, and very graceful. And that taught me a lot to always think and respond to situations in a very calm manner. And um, she just really taught me to advocate for myself and it's just really important that you stand up for yourself and one of the most memorable memories that I have of my mother is being in kindergarten or first grade and I would be really uncertain of the new environment or I would be really shy or I have a question and my mother never did it for me. She never talked to the teacher for me. She never um, had it done for me she always said okay if you want this you need to go and ask the teacher yourself or you need to go and explain the teacher to yourself how to teach you like don't cover their mouth or like don't face the board when they're teaching or those kind of things she just really taught me to advocate for myself and I learned to be independent at a very early age I do know that when my parents started the foundation it was largely motivated by their own frustrations with what they were faced with when they had me and the lack of support for deaf children in Taiwan because before the foundation deaf children weren't even able to really have any opportunities or any independent lifestyle and I remember my father and my parents telling me a story about how one deaf child was able to go to 7-Eleven buy something himself and his parents were so proud and my parents were like that's not the life I want for my daughter. I want her to go to college and travel and like live a normal, healthy life. And um, I think that was my mom's inspiration is that she saw all the deaf children in Taiwan as her own children and she knew she had to make these opportunities for more deaf children because it's really unfair that they live that life just because they all have the resources that we had and we're very fortunate that we could travel the world and find the experts and the audiologists. So it was just really about bringing opportunities to other children. I always think that my parents gave me three amazing things in life. The first thing is that my parents always gave me life. That's the first thing I'm really grateful for is that I have life and I'm here. And the second thing I'm extremely grateful for is that my parents gave me hearing in the sense that I can go to school in America, I can have friends, I can enjoy music, I can dance and I'm very happy. And the third thing that I'm extremely grateful for my parents for giving me is a happy childhood because I learned that even though there are struggles, life is supposed to be fun, you're supposed to be happy and do what you can in this world and I'm extremely grateful to my mom for installing independence and giving me hardships and forcing me to go through them on my own while giving me a supporting hand along the way. But every time I fell down, I was always the one that had to pick myself up, but she was watching and there to guide me along the way. So I really appreciate both my mom and my dad for that. So I want to say thank you. Bye. As I look around my mother's office, there is a constant reminder of how determined and confident she was in starting this Children's Hearing Foundation so that other deaf children could have a chance at a better life. And there are two particular quotes that I found among her belongings in which I see she definitely transcribed to me and definitely passed on to me. One of them is by W.N. Murray, and he said, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. And this clearly, very similarly relates to what she went through while discovering my deafness and trying to find a solution for it because there was never a successful case known of a common cavity malformation, but she dreamed she could and she began it. Another quote that I really enjoyed among my mother's belongings is, I would seize every minute, look back at it and really see it, live it, 
and never give it back. And this is a very strong quote for me that really reminds us to live in the moment, to be appreciative for what we are given and what we have and to really just enjoy life as it is. And for me, this is particularly strong because I'm not supposed to have hearing. I'm not supposed to be able to be talking to you. But a recent trip to Africa where I saw other deaf children who did not have the same parents I did, who were signing, who had lower education, really instilled this quote in me in the sense that I need to seize every moment, whether it's a beautiful song I hear, a dance that I can dance to, anything. It's just really learning to live in the moment and appreciate life as we have it.